In this video, we're going to show you how to create or edit views and how to work with them in our PIM. Um, in the context of our product information management system, a view refers to a specific way in which product information is presented or displayed. It represents a unique combination of attributes, attribute values and other relevant data about products. Uh, you know, our views allow you to define multiple views. So here you can see, you know, as we move down, uh, we've got different data being displayed. So it allows you to define multiple channels uh, to accommodate different requirements, such as for different sales channels or target customer segments. These, these views can be tailored to specific needs, allowing businesses to display product information in a way that suits their specific audience. Uh, for example, a view for a business to business uh, uh, website might include technical specifications. So as I'm showing here, you know, I've got quite a lot of views. You know, I could be just looking at uh, technical specs, products that need working on, uh, you know, all products within the database, uh, you know, and so on and so on. So I've got different types of data being displayed within views um, you know websites might include technical space specifications bulk pricing while a view for a business to business a business to consumer website might focus on just visuals images consumer friendly descriptions and pricing for individual you know products so different departments within within a business may need access to different product types so you know the marketing people might need to just be doing these, these, these progress can, uh, completion bars can, you know, be given to different people within, within the organization. So views in a PIM enable businesses to manage and control how product information appears across various channels, ensuring consistency and accuracy while catering for specific preferences and requirements of each channel or target, or, uh, or target audience. And basically, views can be created anywhere within within AP. So you know, different variant views. So depending on what object you're on, you know, here we are within catalogs. We've got here a tree view uh, that was showing that was showing here. You know, if I'm going down into any object whatsoever, you know, I can physically show different different types of views within within our PIM. So. So, so views can be created anywhere in applications platform or, or against any object, an object being a table in a, like a table in a database that we've discussed before. So next step is I'm just going to show you the process for building a view. Uh, so we can have a look at, at how that works. So basically what we're doing is we're going to any menu. First thing is, is the view menu that's this one here actually on the page so the way in which we you know we'll have a look at how we do that in a minute and then we're going to go through how you show you just how you create a view itself you know we're going to sort of just either be cloning an existing one editing an existing one giving or just creating a new one so you know using using these menus here uh, so cloning you know copying and, and so on we're going to be giving it a name um, we're going to be then showing which columns we want to add to it that's all the fields that we want to add into the view we can then sort the orders you know if there's any sort of totaling to be done because there's some numeric uh, information that you want to total um, adding any filters permissions and then seeing whether we want other people to see that or whatever, and we're just saving it. So it's a pretty straightforward uh, uh, process, and you can find it here within within SCORE. So just to check, this is for administrators. So just to check, this is where you can, you add the view to the to uh, the page. So you can go up to design design a page, uh, which we've discussed before. And basically, you've got you know a section which has got this list of products so if you go down the right hand side you'll see all the list of products so this is basically the view so if you click into this uh, this is where you set the default view so just by 
changing which one you always want to show on, in front but the important thing is this one show view selector just make sure that's ticked and therefore the view menus will appear on the page uh, which means you could actually you know select any of the views that that you have permissions to view so once we've done that we'll just save that and as you can see the view selector is actually on the page so the next thing is if I'm creating a new view or editing a new view I've got these three buttons here so edit edit this view uh, you know you can actually start adding colors as well if you really want to do that or can, you can just clone a view and give it a new name but what we're going to do is just create a new one here so you can just see see how we do that so the next thing is we're just going to give it a name so a meaningful name for for this if you are integrating these views with other systems just give it a an integration name other things that we're doing so you know do you want to just uh, hide it not use it so, you know hide hide counts so some basic basic housekeeping um do you just is this a view that you only want to see so none of your colleagues can see it it's just your own view that you know you're creating and these last three is you know show show on various elements so or various tablets laptops phones so where you can see it um the next thing is just adding adding fields you know which which columns do you want on the view so i'm just going to do an attribute uh, type type view so I'm, all i'm doing is selecting selecting my products here uh, to create the view i just want my people to be working on here but i need some form of identifier so you know an identifier really could be the id could move it to the top uh, the product code um, if we if we find find these things i might want to, you know the descriptions the tape so these are all the fields available uh, I'll add a link so I can click into the records if I need to uh, and we'll just use the SKU which is the product code or the key key identifiers here and so on the next thing that I want to do is maybe I just want to group by um, this so what I'll do is just basically I haven't got any groupings going on here but I can do I can sort so in this instance I'll just sort on the product code skew so just that it's in alphabetical order uh, you know we'll just do it ascending and then you know you've got some other other ways of which you want to uh, sort the data and if you've got any numbers in you can start to total uh, you might want to set filtering so just filter only those records that you know apply and once once you've done you know you can set permissions and roles here so effectively we're just following this this order here to do that and once you've got it you'll just basically save save the view and as you can see what i've got here is a view that's giving me the data the reason i added the product one was because i can click in i can click into use that to click into a record within the system so my views come come back i can start working on this view which we're going to do in the next videos you know click into the products update any information that i really need to do go back to the view and so on um, working with the view itself there are certain things that i can do um, you know i can move columns around um, you know i can reset columns so go back to just refresh or just reset the column the columns view uh, this little button here you know i can filter on the data that now that i've got within the view i can switch columns off so if i don't want to work with those those columns you know i can just switch them off and so on so you know i'm sort of working within the view itself and equally you know i can export this list so just export the list it's itself as an excel csv or whatever so you know i've got a test job being being shown so i'll get an email which will allow me to to work this and if you know i was working it and wanted to re-import it i could re-import all the data here so you know i can di dictate uh 
so I'm getting my my email here just to say that you know I've got it and you know here just go and download 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 this file you know I can work with inline edit which we'll talk about uh, later or I could just select a whole bunch of items to do mass updates which we'll talk in the next videos so you can then work on these views and re-import them you can divide the work with different people you know add your identifiers identifiers are such things as the product code you know the internal system id which is unique to this record uh, you know if you were just doing an import back into the into the system and you wanted to update specific records so you know you need some form of identifier if you're if you're doing that type that type of task so working with views um, you know is really important within within the system so what we've shown within this is effectively you know how you create them making sure they're on the on the system some of the things that you can do to a view uh you know about permissions hiding them and so on so that's an introduction to views within the system within our pimp